Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by for another video of mine. Today I am going to be sharing with you a huge collection of all of the wonderful gifts that my fiance and I received at our bridal shower yesterday. So I'm sorry for my appearance, I'm kind of in my pajama shirt still um, and I didn't really get too ready for this video. I am extremely tired from the shower yesterday. I put a ton of planning and effort into it and so I'm just exhausted. I actually told Matt, my fiance, that I wasn't going to do too much today but me, you know, an unproductive morning is okay and maybe even an unproductive night but I can't have a completely unproductive day so I wanted to at least film this. So if you are interested in seeing what I got from my shower, please keep watching. Alright, so first I did receive quite a few doubles of things, so I'm obviously not going to show the doubles. And real quick, before we get started with the gifts that we received, I wanted to show what my maid of honor brought with to help her along. It is just a gifts received bridal shower list. And I thought this was such a cute touch of my maid of honor to think of. I think that if you are a maid of honor, or in a bridal party, this might be something that you can include for the bride. I just thought that something simple like this really meant a lot to me, so that is what that looks like. One of our first gifts is this picture, and I did register for this. I think it's so adorable. It's really like classic to me. And I just picture like pouring orange juice for guests in the morning for some reason. I don't know. We don't really have guests in the morning and that's what my fiance said when I told him that. But maybe one day we will. <laughs> it's just a staple item to have I think especially when hosting get-togethers, breakfasts especially. The next items that we received are these really beautiful Moscow Mule mugs. I think that their color, like the copperness to them, is so pretty. We were given two of these really beautiful stones, and I believe these came from Target as well. They are the Rose Quartz Stone, and I love the color. It's like a very soft baby pink. Um, I know we have two but literally behind the camera is a pile of just chaos. So it might be under there, but there's two of them. They're very similar looking. The next item that we were given is this amazingly soft and comfortable and beautiful blanket quilt. Um, it is a premium micro mink blanket and it's down alternative fill, size king. It's in like a taupe color. The next gift that we received is this Pure Juice Fresh and Easy Recipes. And if you've watched my channel, you know that I love recipe books, so I was really excited to see this. I do not have any juicing recipe books, and so I think this will be really fun to read and learn about. This next item came from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is a spa mist diffuser and I was really excited to see that someone bought us this because I had wanted another diffuser for another room in our house. I would love to have diffusers in the majority of the rooms in our house. These next two items came together and um, they are a hot plate and a wooden spoon, both of them inscribed personalized, which I love. I think it gives such a beautiful and thoughtful touch to a gift. So this one says Matt and Deanna with an S behind it. And it has my soon to be last name, Schaefer, established 5716, which is our wedding date. And then the spoon says the Schaefer's and the tip of the spoon has an S with our wedding date on it as well. So I'm not sure where my second cousin got this from, but I love it. My fiance, I think this is one of his favorite gifts. This next item, I believe, came from Target and it is a crock pot gravy boat. And really what attracted me to it is the appearance of the actual warmer. I think it looks like really vintage. We don't use or make gravy too often, but hopefully once we start having Thanksgiving more at our house and maybe Christmas or Easter, we will be able to get a lot of use out of this. Next item I got is from my best friend's mom. 
and she knows me very well. Uh, she got me this really cute vintage plate um, along with some candy and then a little note and it says a pretty French plate for your sweet treats. So she gave me some candy and then I guess she calls this a French plate but I love the style of this and the look of this. And then along with the French plate she also gave me a book of annuals yearly classics for the contemporary garden and I think that this is awesome she knows how much I love flowers that's what her and I always talk about when we see each other is our love for flowers and what's really awesome is that here are the cosmos which are the same seeds that I um, gave in the party favors I gave cosmos and zinnias so these are the cosmos and that's really funny how it worked out that way. And then I received another book. It is The Juices and Smoothies. It says that it has more than 100 refreshing ways to drink your fruits and vegetables. And this, again, is something I'm looking forward to reading because I do make a lot of smoothies and I'm pretty comfortable with what I know on how to make smoothies, but I do not really incorporate a lot of vegetables and I would like to start doing that um, and preferably I would like to start doing that in a way where you can't really tell that there's vegetables in there. So I think that this might help with that. This next gift is a wicker basket that is filled with some towels and I love the look of this. I almost don't want to use the towels just because it's so pretty <laughs> without being touched. Um, it looks so like hotelish and just perfect but I am excited to use these. We don't really have any towels this size. Here is what I'm talking about. We do not have any towels like this. I rolled it up, I was able to make it look the same, so I think that even if we use these, I will be able to achieve this look still. The next item is this huge white serving bowl, and I was really excited about this. I think that such a plain white bowl actually makes a nice statement. It's so clean looking. I don't see this bowl ever like looking outdated or old, so it's a nice staple product to have. The next item I got from one of my bridesmaids and I was so excited when I saw this. It is a personalized wooden sign and it looks like she got this from personalizationmall.com and it's really cute. It's got like some really rustic edging and then it says Mr. and Mrs. Schaefer 5716. So I think this is adorable. I can't wait to use this. I might actually bring this with us to the wedding for some more decor. This next item is a gift that I was really hoping we would receive. It is a beautiful 8x10 picture frame and it is um, etched in really sparkly, beautiful rhinestones. And there are a total of four rows of rhinestones. And in person, this is just amazing looking. I can't wait to put a wedding picture of Matt and I. This next item is a chip and dip bowl. And I love this. I love that it is glass and you can see through it. I think, again, this is very contemporary looking. I need to get some use out of this during parties or get togethers. There is a big bowl and then inside of there is a small bowl for dips. The next gift that we received is this KitchenAid hand mixer and I have been wanting this mixing set for the longest time, probably for the last four or five years. So I was really excited to see this. Of course I had it on my registry, um, but I just love the color. It's like a Tiffany blue color. And I am very, very excited to start baking more with my son and I think that this will get a ton of use out of. The next gift is a um, mason jar beverage dispenser and it is for cold beverages only. It is 2.15 gallon capacity. So I'm really excited to start putting some juices or punches in here and bringing this out for get togethers. The next gifts that we were given are these two wooden serving platters and these are so beautiful I think. I just think that these are a really cute way of serving things. They give it a little special extra touch. And I really love this siding. The next item is this 
double jigger set and I know these came from Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm not really sure exactly what you do with these. My fiance is the one that registered for these but um, on the side here it says that it includes three stainless steel jiggers in different finishes copper, brass, and stainless steel. They are two-sided, flip over for different measurements. I'm sure they come in handy um, for mixing drinks, possibly. This next item is um, a beer mug, and it says Daddy's Sippy Cup, and this, again, is something that my fiance registered for. I know he was excited once he saw that someone got this for him. The next item here is a three-tiered lantern set and there is a tag on here that says that it came from Pier 1. This is beautiful. I cannot wait to put this out um, in our backyard this summer season just on probably one of the tables. And of course we will bring this in once it is done being used. But I think that this is going to look so pretty once there's a little tea light candle in there. And these are glowing with that three-tiered lantern set. I also received these tea candles and they are in the scent Pineapple Cilantro. They are 24 count of highly fragranced tea lights. Next item is a Mr. and Mrs. Established in 2016 sign and this was also from another one of my bridesmaids. And the colors go really well with our wedding theme. This Oster um, Juicer. The juicing recipe books also came from the person that gave me this. So it was kind of like a little package. And yeah, I am so excited to start using this. I can't wait. I'm not even sure how this is supposed to be used yet. But I am excited to tear this box open and get it started um, once this video is over. So this next item is super heavy. It looks small, but it's heavy. Um, and it is a Dutch oven with lid cast iron. I'm not too sure what Dutch ovens are used for, but I know that they probably can't get a lot of use out of them. So I'm going to look up some recipes that I can make using this. I did get three sizes, all from the same person. This one is a six quart, and then I also got this three quart size, along with the um, 0.25 quart size. So hopefully these aren't too difficult to use. If you have used these, let me know what you think of them or what your favorite use for these are. This next item came from one of my bridesmaids and it is really cute, very personalized and adorable, which I love. And it is a snow globe. Inside of there it says love and then right on here it says Matt and Deanna 5-7-2016. And so it lights up and it's just gorgeous. This next item is a crock pot lunch crock. And this I thought looked really cool. I registered for this at Target. And I don't have an office job, but I still think that either myself or my fiance will be able to get a lot of use out of this. The next item is a vase filler and there are a bunch of like wooden pieces in here. You just put it in a clear vase and you're ready to go. And I think that this will just give your room or your space a really modern feel. So I can't wait to put this out probably in our family room. The next item is another serving bowl and this too has the bowl right inside of here to put dips or salsas. Um, and then a huge area for vegetables, chips, fruits, and then a matching set to that platter that I just showed is this little three part dip bowl is what it's called on the back. I didn't really know what this would be called, but yeah, it's got a little handle to hold it and then you can just put three different dips or salsas or dressings um, into here. This next item also came from Target. It is a tumbler set and it says that it includes six 18 ounce glasses and six 12 ounce glasses. The next item we received is this wooden cake stand. This too came from Target and I think this is really beautiful. I love the look of this. All right, the next thing is this Kitchen Aid mixing set. And it is the stand mixer of the collection. 
and again I was thrilled to see this. I love the color, I love the look of it, and I cannot wait to start using this with my son especially, like I said with the hand mixer, but yeah, very excited for this. Next is this electric skillet, and this is from Oster. It came from Target, as you can see, and I saw this and the food looked really amazing, which is probably why I scanned it. Next, we got another serving dish or platter, and this comes with four different sections um, to serve food in, along with the middle dipping section, and then also a wooden plate under that. So I thought this was really cute. I love the white and then also, of course, the wooden feel underneath. The next item is this toaster oven and this is by Cuisine Art. The next item is another big one and it is the Ninja 3-in-1 cooking system. I read a ton of really good reviews on this and I had been wanting to try it out. But I've been trying to not buy these type of things for the past like year, um, ever since we got engaged really, just holding out for the bridal shower. So apparently there are three different ways to cook with this and I'm really not sure exactly how this works, but I am excited to try it out and play with it. I love cooking with my slow cooker that I have right now and so I think that Having a three-in-one slow cooker is just going to step up my love for crock pots and slow cookers. And then we also got two more Moscow Mule drinking cups. These ones came from Bed Bath & Beyond and the other ones came from Target, I believe. Next we got this egg plate and I am excited to bring this out, especially for Easter. These next two items came as a set and they are a sheet set and two pillowcase sets. And I believe these came from Bed Bath & Beyond. They are Eucalyptus Origins. We do not have any white sheets so I'm excited to um, use these. The next two things that I got are these two wooden salad sets. This one up here has four serving salad bowls and it comes with a large fork and spoon to toss the salad with. And then this one has one salad bowl and um, it looks like two spoons. Yeah, two servers. So I'm not sure if we'll keep both of these, but we do not have any salad mixing bowls, so I think definitely keeping one of these will be really nice to add to our serving collection. And then the next items that we received are these shadow boxes. I registered for these at Target and my idea behind these are to stick a bunch of our memorabilia from the wedding like scrapbook kind of thing right into here so that we can display them. So I'm planning on putting like our menu for the night, our program from the ceremony, um, some of the wrapping paper that we received at the shower, and then also my garter, some of the speeches and readings that our bridal party will be reading at the ceremony, and then just a bunch of things that will always remind us as keepsakes. I got two of these size, one of these size, and then my mother-in-law about a week ago gave me a really small like um, square size. So I am planning on doing kind of like a gallery wall with these four pieces. And then this last gift set came from my maid of honor and she really put a ton of time and effort into it. And to me that means so much. Um, I will insert a picture of the actual present when it was all ready to be opened. She really created such an excellent display. So I did want to show that really quick, but she bought a like four tiered set of hearts. They are all separate and then she painted these um, our wedding colors. So like I said, we're using gray, coral, and a rose gold. And the gray is more like for the guys, they will be wearing more of the gray and then the girls will be doing the rose gold and coral. So she stuck to the girls colors for this. And the top of the hearts are super glittery um, and sparkly so obviously she knows me pretty well but um, <clears throat> as you saw in the picture there is um, each box was labeled with a different word so this one was the something old 
something new, something borrowed, something blue. So I wanna show really quick um, what she included. In the something old box, she put a pin that my grandma always used to wear and I guess this was given to my grandma from my grandpa. So it's really special to me. My grandma and grandpa are still fortunately alive and they are still very much in love so it's kind of like an inspiration to me. It's really endearing to me to get something that my grandpa gave to my grandma knowing how well their relationship has lasted. And then the something new box, there is a pearl bracelet and it is super heavy, very cute, um, really pretty and I think I might wear this on my wedding day. Something borrowed. She wrote me a collection of borrowed quotes and words, pieces of advice. So she got these from their Project Life cards and then on the back she wrote a bunch of quotes and I think that these are so cute. I can't, I haven't looked at all of them yet. I have looked at a few and I can't wait to just keep these probably in my nightstand and look at them from time to time and super thoughtful. And then lastly, the something blue gift. And here are a set of blue mugs that she painted and she wrote Mr. and Mrs. on them. And I think these are super adorable. I am going to drink out of this the morning of the wedding and take a picture with it as my something blue. I was just really impressed with her whole display and the meaning behind each gift. Super adorable. So that is all I have. I hope this video isn't going to be too long and I hope it doesn't come off as me bragging about any of these gifts, but I am truly grateful for each and every one of these gifts and each and every person that was able to join me at my bridal shower. Matt and I were both overwhelmed with how much love and support we received yesterday. Each and every one of these products is going to get a ton of use throughout the years from Matt and I. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and supporting my channel. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, let me know what you thought of these gifts, if you have any of them and how you like them, your reviews on them, or any comments on this video at all. I love hearing your guys' feedback and interacting with you. Also, make sure to check the bottom description for all of my upcoming videos, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you again so much for watching. Bye.